Hey guys, hope you're doing well. In this video, I'm going to be talking a little bit about a feature that I found on Canon cameras, but didn't seem to find on Nikon cameras. Now the feature I'm talking about is on the Canon 5D Mark II, for instance, you can engage the self timer mode together with the mirror lockup mode. So that means that when you press the shutter, the mirror will flip up, then the camera will count to two seconds and then it will trip the shutter. So that's a really useful feature if you're trying to eliminate every sort of camera shake, including the vibrations induced by the mirror slapping up just before you take the photo. On Nikon cameras, it doesn't seem to be possible to do that because you have to choose between either the mirror lockup or the self timer. So they're physically separated on the camera. So for instance, on the rotary button, you have to choose one of those two. Many of you will say, well, when I use mirror lockup, I'm going to bring my remote trigger, but sometimes you forget that thing, or maybe you don't even have a remote trigger. There is a trick to emulate what the Canon camera allows you to do. So you have to go to menu, then you have to go to custom setting menu, then you find subsection D, which is called shooting slash display. Then in that menu, you have to go down to exposure delay mode. By default, that will be set to off, but you can choose between one second, two seconds or three seconds of delay. So if you choose three seconds, for instance, and you press OK, then you have engaged uh, something similar to what the Canon cameras can also do. Now you can set the camera back to single shot. You don't have to uh, put it on timer or mirror up. And then when you press the shutter button once, the camera will flip up the mirror. We'll wait for three seconds in this case, and then it will trip the shutter. I hope that was useful for you. If you liked the video, consider giving it a like. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you very much for watching and see you the next time. Bye-bye.